start when this thing hits zero. Okay. I'll do the one, two, clap. All right. Okay. Yep. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, I'm going to go back on to push to talk. I will steady hum of catch you guys the acrid smell in our world. Smoke. See you later. Asian I'll try to not uh, accidentally silk. talk like These I did twice signs last time. Of changing times. The or was it an accident, chat? <laughs> They'll never know. Your realm forward. Also, sorry, now Zito. You probably noticed that I didn't turn off my music when we were doing the, and man, the between peace sync and thing. War. So I'm sorry if my I fucked Matthias. it up. Your feats at you arms at are matched only by the Discord depth of your knowledge. Let your mighty black army serve as your strong hand. Also, on you attack Yanri again. Thank you for the sub. Both a sword against your enemies and a shield protecting you. 37 friend. months, in fact. Holy cow. Thank you. Uh, you're actually the one who got me into Civ in the first place. Keep doing what you do. Thank you. All right. Back to the front lines. All right. We've got. All right. There's. Quinn's got this guy here, so we're going to pop him. Uh, I'm going to move this guy. One promotion to a naval unit. We don't have any naval units in the neighborhood, really. We got this guy, I guess. Bring him down here for some support. Actually, we've got a bunch of naval units over here, but I wanted to use those to explore this direction. But we've really got this coastline kind of witnessed, so there isn't a whole lot we can do with our sailors anymore over here. So we might as well invite them to join in the war effort, even though there aren't a whole lot of coastal things that we can do. Still gun for it, still go for it. Yo! Thank you, Carnivorous, for the 250 bits. And time to make Quinn see the error of starting this war. Seriously, like, this this is part just defending myself from a war he started, but also, not gonna lie, big part, uh... We need to get rid. He's moving o Oya away, huh? You that scared? Interesting. Okay. Uh, fire on... On. Actually, no, we should probably get rid of this melee unit. Good destroy. Uh, it feels like the placement of all my units is off. Uh, I haven't loaded in yet, so I can't quite see, so. I've loaded in, and I've been doing stuff, so that's odd. I didn't think that would even happen. Oops. All right, I've loaded. Yeah, everything does look a little different. Huh. Something happened. Yeah. It's done weird. I mean, especially around. I mean, Grant. Yeah, you yeah. Your about... your stuff is very different. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and you know, honestly, kind of really bad because no, it's all yeah, yeah. Out now. <laughs> yeah, this is strange. Um, wow, just a day of everything fucking up. The whole world has shifted on us. Did the update just do this to us? I have no idea. I think okay. I think it might be my fault that the units are in the wrong place. Because now that I think about it, I know I hung out on the stream afterwards and was looking at stuff, and a turn turned over because we all hit next turn. But And AI, I think, moved things after everybody left. And I figured but, since Nick was the host, it wouldn't bother Yeah, yeah, I, 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 load, I loaded in mine, my yeah. save. So okay, I don't so know yeah. why that would have happened. Okay, Weird. well, unfortunately... I hate this because everything if if this okay. is, if the AI is what happened here it moved everything back. No, and you're right and that's not fair. Um uh, okay, so, so you know what? I, I, I don't know I can't, what I can't about this. we we can't settle this, can we? But I have I, to wait I don't like know six if we... more turns. Well, here. Uh, I'll I'll just I'll basically hold off on doing anything to you Quinn uh for the rest of this turn and the next one. Um me and Nick will just have to continue our war from this weird position we're in. I don't know about you, Nick. My 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 guys are like way off. Yeah, it's, some things are a little odd. Like my capital city no longer follows my religion for some reason. Whoa, that's very odd. Yeah. Was, that, was, that on, was that on the way out? Because I don't know how that would have happened. I have no like idea either. Turn. I think like something's messy. All right, now they follow it again. I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't realize I'm gonna have to play out these files to get rid of the alerts. Uh, they want that. Sure, that's a lot of money. Captain, where is Yo, Robert, he declared war on me.
Are we getting more great riders than anyone else? I think we are. But that's the epic of Himiko, so no. Speaking of, I need to re-enlist Himiko. Who I think is here. Actually, you know what? It'd be easier to just get her from here, if we can. Hey, I was right. Um, but okay, let's move her. Oh, she can coexist with you there. I feel real bad, because if it's my fault that all the AI moved shit and ruined everybody's positioning, that's that's on me, and that should not have happened. Uh, I did not intend for that, and that's not... If that, if that makes a difference in this war, if that... Like, if that's... If people can look at that and view it as a deciding factor, I don't feel good about that. that was that was not at all my intention i i genuinely did really think that nick being the host would make the files go based off of his file and not mine so i'll try i'll try to be as fair as i can with quinn without just handing it over to him like at this point he can take kagawana and i can't really do anything about it and i'll take it back like i can do that because it's not going to instantly have walls when he takes it um, but it still sucks. Waiting on me. Can I buy anything in here? Ooh, a shipyard would be good. Just buy it up. Just go ahead and buy that. Let's start. How many turns do we have on you? Did I just get you? I got you pretty recently, so let's just keep moving everybody up. Actually, no. I want to hold off on that. No, I don't. I'll keep one around here. I need to at least keep these borders at least a little bit protected on the off chance there's something else waiting in the wings. This should be upgraded. From a bone anyway, the poor thing. It's exactly when I played, uh, when I was playing against my brother, declared war on him, but then I realized I get a lot more money than I did, so I just asked all the other sibs to join me in the war against him. I mean, yeah, like, it's unfortunate that Robert's really upset with me right now. How long is that? Five more turns? Okay, that's not too much longer. Five more turns for for uh, Vietnam. If we can get them to turn around on that after that turn is done, I think we'll be okay. Let's keep you here. I'm moving you into this will really help all that much, will it? I guess not your city has a wall, and I could take that. Okay, my units up here. Oh, the thing I didn't think about is Kagawana's units will probably all disappear when they die too. And I don't know how many of their levied units are making up my military right now. So that could actually go really bad. Okay, I hate what the AI did. I don't know why it felt so compelled to move the units like this, but I, I it, it honestly it fucked me. How could what? it have moved them that far in like Yeah, I was going to say, it, it could well, have only done... It pulled back and then queued up orders to move them all the way back to the capital all of them oh weird maybe it's because it felt threatened i mean i don't and... I, I, I have no idea why it would do that but i i other than the attacks i did before you had uh, been able to load in and tell me that uh i i've been trying my best to just set all my units to do nothing for this turn uh just to try and like give you a free turn basically um have you been able to use any of the... Well, you know what? Never mind. I think my turn's still playing out, and that's probably what's keeping you from doing anything, so let me just... Yes. Tomorrow's... But the units that I know I shot with, I won't do anything for this turn, uh, and just let you kind of steamroll in for at least a turn or two if you want, Quinn. Just to try and make it fair. And unfortunately, on our end, uh, Georgia just lost, just killed my, my stuff too because of something the computer did. 
Yeah, I, 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 I feel real bad because I know I stuck around after the last stream and kind of just like looked over my empire and a turn turned over. Uh, it's weird the, that that would have moved. But yeah, but I, I went in going like, I'm not going to save this. And Nick is the host, so it should go off of his file anyway. Uh, so yeah, I really didn't nice. think anything would happen. So uh, I, I apologize if this has ruined any plans or fucked stuff up for people because I did not think it would happen. No, I, why would you? <laughs> And that's why Quinn, I am, I am genuinely like really sorry, and I am trying to make this feel as fair as I can. Do we have cloud saves enabled? If someone just brought that up in chat. That actually sounds like maybe what would have happened. I don't. I've never turned them on specifically. I do really like the quick movement feature. I, I actually think that rocks. Yeah, I think quick movement is way better. Like, I, I think the an the movement animations are a little luxurious. All right, back to being muted. Let's see. So things I need to do. Could probably stand to get square rigging so we can figure out what coal is. Because, okay, here's one thing that I do know that I that I learned from watching some stuff. Uh, from seeing other perspectives and cutdown videos. Also, shoot, is someone on my encampment? Is that why I can't build it anymore? Alright, I shot him last turn, so I won't shoot him this turn. Be nice. Have you wait here. You wait here. Why can we not build encampment anymore? Is that no one's standing on it? Okay, maybe it just took it off one side. Hell hammer. Uh, let's you in here. Oh damn! I was thinking it'd be nice that we would be able to. Well, okay, we'll just do that. I wanted to pillage, but that'll work. An insight. Anyone we can steal suzerainty of. Ooh, we've got five. Yes, we can take Mohindaro. Thank you. So is uh, is anybody in need of horses or iron? Negative. Or niter. I also have plenty of niter. I think I shot him last turn. I mean, we could come to a deal. I haven't met you, though. Oh, yeah, so we can't come to a deal. Let's hold this turn. And you're at least a musket pan. Here, so you're buffing all them. Here, so you can shoot this. Uh, how much gold are we working with? That's funny. You, where was I building a city with you? Is this the correct move? We don't really have rivers to utilize our skill here, but I think that's all right. Let's get over there. What died or happened? For attack. All right, yeah, let's see what he's doing over here. Okay, this crow crossbowman might live unless... <laughs> Leveled it up on the turn it died, but okay. That's cool though. That gave Kagawana a turn to heal. Uh, so long as we're keeping Kagawana safe, we're okay. Anything more to see up here? I don't think there is. Let's get out of his cities for now, upgrade, and then come back and take him. Don't 
like that I'm gonna have to settle in this big ass desert. So let's settle here. This has a bunch of coastal resources. We can have a pretty dope coastal city over there. Move all of you over to the war. Uh, do you and Karen ever finish that build a roller coaster in Terraria? No, we did not, unfortunately. We have not gone back to it since. Hey, granted a recon unit, that's nice. You can't get open borders with them because they're denouncing me. I guess you just go ahead and explore, whatever. I don't want to put you in position to get shot. Let's wait here. You can't shoot that guy. So do it. Drink. Okay. Let me see. Look back at chat. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Probably take his city on the other continent. I definitely could, and that's going to be my bargaining chip. I plan on taking not your city. And then saying, keep, let me keep not your city or I'm taking Brontatal. Uh, and I know he wants... Here's here's my bit of intel that I shouldn't have, but because we work as a company and share footage a lot, I've seen this. I know Samarkand has a bunch of coal, and that's mainly what he wants it for. I'm going to sell him coal at a very generous discount uh, for his pain. Because I think I I think he scanned my map at some point or looked over it. Something, I can't remember what. But I think I also have coal at least somewhere in here. And so I think he is wanting to ensure that he also has coal. Other than when I build uh, railroads, I probably won't really need coal. Um, so I'm going to try and sell it to him. I mean, if he... If he wants to be greedy and try and take Samarkand, he can try, but he's not going to be able to take it. It's in such a defensible location that he will need airplanes and bombs for that first. Which, I mean, he's Korea, so he could jump that far ahead on science if he wants. But that's a lot of resources to get an outdated resource by the time you'd have planes. Because, yeah, these mountains is going to make Samarkand a defensive nightmare to, to fight. Like, it's frustrating for me to get to him to fight back. Uh, and Samarkand's going to be able to shoot at him that whole time. Uh, so, I don't, I'm not super worried about him taking Samarkand. I am worried about him just constantly annoying it. Uh, so, I want to cut that off if I can. Yeah, the only way, like, that's the that's the thing that bums me out about this kind of turn of events, is that if Quinn really wants to commit to this, the only way he wins is by fucking both of us and going nuclear. <laughs> Which, I mean, I don't know how Quinn plays. That might be his plan. Uh, but I don't think that's going to go very well for either of us. Why do I say I'm going to put a thing here? Oh, this is this city's. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Funniest thing to me is that Quinn's code name has spy in it, which perfectly explains his paranoia. Yeah, no. See? He's always Mr. Subterfuge and underhanded tactics. Spying is not normally my my route in the game. Though I am currently spying on it. What? Did someone die? You believe that has eight turns remaining? Okay, that's fine. That's time. or something somewhere. Oh, what's happening? Any, uh, a lot of units either being bought or upgraded. That's me a little nervous. God, that sound scares me, but it's a good thing. We, we finished building uh, Taj Mahal, so our good. We'll be basically assured golden ages for the rest of the game now. Let's get this thermal bath up. Alright, now that Okay, 
Can I not? I want to tell this guy to act again. Can I not do that from the inside of a city? to get rid of oh yeah can't want to get rid of it. and that gave us square rigging so that's good And some units over here. It's not the end of the world, but it is annoying. Let's back to heal. You in here. Lock you down. We'll start pillaging. We need to be pillaging his other cities more. That's something we are not doing enough of. We'll hang out here. you'll live another turn start moving you up start firing on guys i don't really want to move him up because i think that's a death sentence so i'm going to move him back move this guy over you keep oh he's got just now noticed that he has a uh, bomb parts that's gonna be rough okay yeah did that that's fine shoot there Okay, because my goal is to get you two together so I can have you link up and be a stronger unit. Get up there. Sorry I'm not looking at chat and I'm kind of just talking through my moves. This is a lot of war to deal with. Thank you again, Quinn. I love blaming Quinn for playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you know how it is. You know how it be. Oh boy, that's a lot of units moving in from... I mean, I can crush Scotland's military power right there, but that's still more units than I'd like to deal with. I keep forgetting that if you heal, if you set a marine, a naval unit to, to fortify, it doesn't... You can't undo that. Like you can with land units. Uh... God, what's our government looking like right now? But yeah, we are getting amenities for people in cities, so we should be having people in cities. Moving these units to the front line. I should really just have them go their whole journey. Have you guys move back in here so Nick doesn't think I'm being aggressive on him, because I'm not. Just really need to levy anybody I can so I can ensure I have those. Uh, what do you call them? Convoys. Because, yeah, we were, we were talking before the stream today, and no one knew that me levying, uh, levying militaries is what gives me envoys, and that's how I pull ahead. I shouldn't have done that because now I'm not going to be able to pillage but whatever got rid of a unit that's going to take him plenty of turns to fix yep there he goes that's fine annoying but fine you in here we can get additional shots off of the city Ooh, you know what I just realized we should be combining these units so where are you going okay you're going over here so please go there Keep someone posted on Zanzibar just so we can see what people are doing nearby. Around. Who is... That's Georgia, who is also still mad at me, so they won't give me open borders either. Terrible. Head to Mohandaro so you can... Upgraded. Okay, so you get... 
as long as you have the money for it, you get free envoys. Your units are pow more powerful because they're levies. I, where's the downside to playing Hungary? I mean, it's it's a buff. Every you can, all of your mines and farms get additional science. How am I ever supposed to keep up? Like we all have good things. <laughs> well, I have to admit, I'm already put out because the AI screwed up what little plans I was able to make, and so now I'm scrambling. I'll make you a deal. To, I won't attack anything else, and we just stop. Because this was already a terrible idea. I realize that now. Uh, would you like a sidebar so we can discuss our peace agreement more detailedly? Deal. Meeting room one? Sure. Sure, I'm down with that. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this. Sure, I'm down with that. Hello, Quinn. Hello, Grant. All right, welcome to our secret peace committee. Now, Quinn, I'm going to be real honest with you. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to let you keep not your city. This mistake that you have made, you are correct. It was a mistake. But that is that is the only thing that I'm going to take as your, uh, let, let's say, as a, as a recompense. Now, I'm not going to be mean here and walk away with that. I know, uh, because I've seen our cut down video, that... Uh, a big part of your goal here is Samarkand has a lot of coal that you want. Uh, I will be willing to tr to sell you that coal at a very, very, very low cost. And I'm not saying that sarcastically. I'm not saying that as a goof. I will genuinely give you, like, a coal, a gold. Uh, I just want Sar Samarkand to live. Um, and I can throw Amani on there so I can get a bunch of their coal and just sell it to you. And that will be way cheaper for you than making both of us fight for it. Uh, and you will get what you want, and I will get what I want. Um, if that isn't good enough for you, my other comment here is I have plenty of ships that could probably take Brontatal if I wanted, uh, but I want you to have that because here's what I really want. I want you to not only bring Weta to my world, uh, to my country, I will help you spread it because I want to get rid of Nick's Mr. Pinchy Death Cult. Uh, and I know you're not going for a religious victory. I will help you do that. Uh, so you don't have to dedicate too much to it. Uh, but as a goof, I want to see if I can get rid of Nick's cult that he bases most of his jokes around. And I would love for you to help me, but I am also okay with just letting you give me a key to do this. That's, uh, you know, that's a very fair offer. offer. I'm, I'm not... I, I understand that not your city is something that you you took or, and like that was not meant as an act of aggression because you did not see my capital there. I understand that. That still makes me a little uneasy. You can get scientifically ahead of me. You could have nukes and instantly take out my capital from there. And I really don't like knowing that's just a power you have. Uh, you, and you can't share text in this because I, I keep thinking of like three other turn-based games where you can. We can have a scientific alliance, which is another thing. I was going to say a religious alliance. So I would be stronger fighting Nick's religious units. Um, but, you know, we don't have to. I, uh, I have to admit, not your city is a point of pride. Uh, okay. But, mate. If I renamed it, of, if oh, I renamed oh. it Quincinnati in your honor. Oh. Because that was my going plan. I, I want, I want to, I want to, can I, is there, po is there any possible way I could add something on top of our deal okay. to maybe keep not my city in my pocket? Because there, I, 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 you're right. I don't have a lot of coal, but I did just get a great scientist that let me see oil ahead of time. Okay. And there's a lot of it in my territory. So could we perhaps come to agreement where maybe I keep not your city, but in exchange, I give you perhaps e I'm, you know, honestly, given how badly the deck is stacked against me, I'm willing to do it for free. I can fill your requirements when it comes to oil. Okay, so you keep not your city in an agreement that I will get your oil in the future? Yes. If you need oil, I will supply it. Okay. An interesting an interesting counter offer. I have no, I have no idea where oil is, so this might not be something I need, but you bring up a valuable offer that I cannot deny. Because I, I honestly, I like us going against Nick. That's, you know, that's... that's no, I... I I thought you would, and that's why I thought that this this agreement might sit well with you. 
I don't know if I can let you keep not your city, though, Quinn. And I know it's a point of pride for you, and I need you to understand that I think we're both coming from a very similar place here. Uh, Because, no, I understand. It's a cool city. It'd be nice for you to keep. But, man, it is so close to me, and that really makes me uncomfortable. Um, okay, so... And if, if if oil is also part of the problem, I am willing to be very generous with that, too. Uh, but if, if you mean you've got plenty of oil in other parts of your uh, empire and it's not the not your city lynch, um, you know. Well, I mean, as we've seen, apparently having a foothold next to your capital does me next to no good because <laughs> not even... yet. Again, my 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 thought is long term uh, that this could become a nuclear threat where you could just have missiles trained on me at some point and then I would not well, I mean... be able to do anything. <sighs> By that logic, my capital is, what, 10, 12 tiles away from yeah, yours? Yeah, you'd at least have to send a ship that would be holding that that I could take down. If you could launch it from your city to my city. Like, yes, you might lose not your city to some nuclear fallout, but then I would be capitalless. Uh, you would definitely win on that trade. I feel like losing not, I feel like losing not your city is still... It, it, I, I need something here. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. I can understand. I, that. I, I feel. I feel like. I mean, I'm going right. to be I, spreading I, your religion for free, uh, and I yeah, have a feeling the, that's going to help you. But the door closed to religious victory. At the end of the day, what does that really give me in the long term? It gets um, me spied against. Me. You're going to get one science and one gold from each campus and commercial region in my empire. That's a lot. Um, you are going to. All right, that's the only bonus you get for really spreading it to me. The other bonuses don't really give you that much more. Uh, but that's also going to be spreading it to Nick, which is going to make it grow, too. Like, that's going to be getting you a lot of science and money in the long run. Uh, that's that's my counterpoint. But if that if that's not enough for you, I am willing... F and you know why. We both know why. I am willing to keep this fight going for Not Your City, if that's the way you'd rather play it. Uh, but... I, I don't want to do that, and I know you don't either. And I'm trying to figure out a way where we can both be at least grumpily happy with what we end up with. And I am absolutely, like, again, take no pleasure in taking it from you. But uh, I think that if I, because I'm, I don't know if you've noticed, there's a little island to the east of their continent that I'm planning on setting up shop, and that's going to be my religion center where I'm going to pull, where I'm going to pour out uh, weed uh, missionaries uh, and just start invading Nick's home. On top of this, I'm also giving you plenty of ammunition uh, to use against me politically on the others. Yes. So again, your uh, your advantages, are, I think, are outweighing mine. I really just want a city so you can't launch a nuclear strike. Which you might not do. I'm fully willing to admit that. Just try to cover my bases here. But anyways, I'm kind of out of movements unless I start attacking you. So, yeah, sorry, I'm just having an internal dialogue. No, I, I get you. I, I've, I've had, I've been, every so often, uh, just to let you know how much I think about Civ on my off time, thinking about this throughout the week, being like, how can I sweeten this deal and make it something we would both be happy to get? Uh, and the not your city was what I knew would be the point of contention, because <laughs> I was like, I don't like him having that. That's too close, and he will get too scientifically ahead and could use it to his advantage. Okay, so, all right, you know what? How about this? Uh, actually, let me double-check something. Okay, so, how about this? I'll let you take Not Your City. Okay. In exchange, uh, I would like, essentially, to have our original deal with you against Spain go on to me against Vietnam because if I'm letting you have not your city I, I'm going to have to find another place to expand I, with the city states being how they are I imagine okay. I imagine a protect war I am absolutely fine out. with this agreement uh, okay. I, I was originally wanting to keep uh, Vietnam alive I wanted to if I'm going to start pushing in a tourism direction it's better for me to have more people alive but if that is the agreement you want I'm completely okay with that deal okay uh do do you have to take it violently or can i just give it to you in the peace terms uh you can give it to me in peace terms which peace can't be made for another turn uh so i'm just going to set all of my target or my units to stand still or upgrade if they can uh but i i'm willing to declare this war over 
Uh, and, I'll, I'll spend I'll spend my turn finishing up what the AI was doing and moving everything over to Falcon Claw. Go for it. All right. Uh, so okay, just so just so we're all understanding here, I will sell you coal at like bottom barrel prices, basically a, a gold a coal, uh, so long as I can afford it. Uh, which I will I will be as transparent with the, with you as I can with that. Um, and I will get not your city. In the agreement that you can take Vietnam, I will not touch it, and I am going to help you spread your religion not only in my territory, but I'm going to start pushing it on Nick. Great. The oil, the oil thing's going to be out because, I mean, it's our, it's going to happen. There are three patches of oil in not your city's territory. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I'm so also. You hey, you know what? Same, same deal for oil as for coal. Uh, I might up it to two gold in oil, depending on how much I need it, but I'm going to try and sell it to you for as cheaply as I can afford. Deal. Okay. All right. I agree to these terms. Thank you uh, for your kindness. I'm sorry things had to turn out like this. Let's be uh, I'm honest. I mean, in all honesty, if I had just understood that second part of the Raiden King thing, how differently this game would have yes, played yeah, out. Yes. Yeah, no. I'm definitely built to, once I get ahead on City States, I stay there. Yeah. All right. I'm going to uh, bump back over. Me too. Agreements have been made. Peace returns to the realm. Dear Lord, finally. Sorry. <laughs> we had we had a, we had a big stare of Mexican standoff on our uh, on our on not your city, but agreements were made. Now let me just uh, go through all my units and tell them to do nothing because we're no longer at war. At least some of us are. Yes. Sorry. Our our side of the map is no longer at war. Hey, I might be able to see it soon, because when I levied another military, they had a scout, and, and I haven't had a scout for a while. <laughs> nice. So maybe I can finally see more of the map. Chat, what's the shortcut for uh, just ending your turn? I know there's like a shift something and that just skips every action that you have shift and enter okay uh grant taking on quinn at the negotiate table i think grant is legally a lawyer now hell yeah that's true i didn't think about that he has like a legal precedent to be better at that than me um i feel like i feel like we like i don't think i'm giving him a bad deal at all but I do think we we won that. Because uh, another thing he's not realizing is he is spending a lot of resources to keep not your city. Because uh, like notice how its uh, loyalty is already dropping as soon as he moved the governor out of there. That governor could probably have been doing better work in other cities. Again, I, like sometimes I'm just playing, but I do genuinely mean that uh, sometimes you can you know, be be nice while being aggressive. Brandizzle, it's okay that Lanny knows that we're gonna start going for his religion. He's he's gonna have to bolster it. But I know Lanny's been sitting pretty over here with Stefan not really doing anything to him and him just getting to amass power. Now, I know he's behind us uh, in a lot of values, but hey, man, all he needs to do is get access to nukes and he could turn that around real quick. Also, I thought everyone was waiting on me. Bruce proposed. more money I can get a turn, the better. Oh, did you just send me that offer? I haven't sent anything yet. I was just getting ready to start it, though. So I queued it up and then immediately said, okay, do you want to give him tea? Like, I mean... Oh, I think you have to give me... I don't know. Yeah, because it's not... Oh, me okay, it's, it says it goes with the city. Got gotcha. It. It, it's probably a resource it has. Okay.
Okay, I just sent it. Accepted. Pleasure doing war with you, Quinn. Uh, well, not really. Pleasure ending war with you. T Tamar keeps, like, being like, hey, do you want peace? I'll give you this poem called Drinking Alone by Moonlight. It almost feels like a, like a, like a diss. Or a date proposal. Maybe. But either way, I refuse. Oh, at least Robert the Bruce is happy that we made peace. He made sure to tell me. Hey, man, we can we can use Robert the Bruce to our advantage. Like he's he's an AI that we can be friends with. If you're gonna go after, you know, other people. <laughs> there. Now I can sow the seeds of. Oh wait, Quinn's gonna do something, Billy. that we were not friends with before. Even if Quinn's gonna destroy them, that's okay. Having their good will before that will only benefit us. He's doing nothing, but that's okay. Whatever, it's something. Yeah, and Tamara's still mad at me for some reason. I don't have what she want. Jeez, never mind. I was trying to help you. That. So, this is a lot of units we have in our territory that we really don't need here anymore. But I guess that's what happens when that's what happens when you go to war. That's a lot of our money. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, spending even more. We need a second workshop somewhere if we can. Alright, there's... Is this the only industrial zone we have in our empire? Maybe we can't get two workshops. AI has first. Reminds me, I probably should have been sending this to Muscat. Actually, hold on, we got Himiko that we're not using anymore. Actually, was a bad move. I should have sent her elsewhere. Uh, okay. Next up, what do we want to do? Need to start getting some of this shit repaired. Do we have faith purchasing civilians? Yes, we do. We need to be getting a bunch before before he starts moving his religion in, and we have to send our uh, we have to spend our faith helping him. We're going to spend our faith to help ourselves. Also, before we get Weta, let's spit spread Catholicism so we could use its faith purchasing benefits. get you aren't killing a unit with a quadrine probably could have maybe done that during the war before we ended it can't train an ironclad yet okay so we can't really do any of those missions put you away back off 
off. Okay. I'm spending more of my nighter on gold, so just explore. Just explore. Everybody who isn't Mike can just explore. What's great is now Nick is going to be very anti working with me. And that's going to be annoying. It's great. Sarcastically, I'm upset that that's going to happen. But that's the that's the nature of playing these uh, these kinds of games online. Does not your city have the Petra? Uh, that would be big for production. Yes, it does. That's why that's that's the big reason why I wanted to take it. It had both the Uru and the Petra. Or what's it called? Uluru? Uru? Yeah, Uluru. It had the Uluru and the Petra, so it was getting really good tiles. We don't need to renew in there. What did we finish? Was that the chicken itza that was being made in there that whole time? Can't remember. Either way, looking good. Two turns for an industrial zone. We could save a turn on things, or I could get another trade route thing up. Also, we start moving those builders that we bought last I've turn. I've got a present can. for you. Yo, thank you, uh, Carnivorous, for gifting the subs. Welcome, Neverware, Tomacratus, uh, X Nickum, X Chub Toad, uh, and Aurora Rose. Welcome, everybody. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so we want to get lots of woods coming through here, and we want no more marshes. So we're going to start getting rid of stuff and building the woods and then building national parks. That is our that is our goal. Um, make a farm triangle here and then just all woods through here. Which one is that, guys? Industrial iron. Yes. That might be useful. Not as good as getting... Actually, we don't really need neighborhoods. But I just want to get that for much further. Still gunning for a culture win? I'd like to. Like, my real goal, honestly, isn't winning the game. I want to be a kingmaker. I want everybody to come to me for their wins. I want to be the one who gets to basically decide who wins. So my goal is to put everyone in a position where I am stronger and they have to vie for my help. I decided over the weekend that that's what I really want to play. And so I am willing to be nice to everyone, but I am also willing to uh, F you over at any time. Also, thank you, Greenbacker, for the bits. Just got here what I missed. Me and Quinn made peace. Not your city has become Quincinnati. Uh, and it is now mine. I don't know why I'm building walls in there. That's not what I need. Let's get... Where are people at? That's probably good. I'll also, take this desert tile, so that's also being affected by that. In fact, I should take any tiles I can. Can I not take these tiles? Yeah, I can't, because those are... Yeah, those are districts. I'm an idiot. I should not have built those districts there, probably. Because that cuts off the Petra from being able to affect these tiles. So we could have had way better tiles in this city. But that's alright. We we learn and, we live and learn from these mistakes. Uh, farm triangle here. The city starts... Excuse me, growing faster? Or I could just... Maybe hello. that's the better way to do it. Also, hello and thank you, Blademaster. Uh, 15 months sub, two-time TFS Civ champ. Let's let's hope for it. Raid routes so start also drawing. And yeah, I think I'm just going to take this. So we probably won't keep those farm tri triangles for long if we make them, so... Maybe not something to really worry about. Get you in there so we can just get a free amenity. Go on patrol. Alright, we 
We can move him now, because we don't need to be doing that. Okay, you are now no longer angry at us, so let's... Figure out what an open borders agreement could be. I'm losing some money on it, but that's alright. Now, who do we want to spy on? He's gonna be... Quinn, we have finally met. Killing... Uh, yeah, I know. That took forever. But hey, I needed the arrow score boost, so there's that. Oh, yeah, I got one too. Uh, so, do you want to buy anything? <laughs> uh, how much niter do you have? I have 16. Okay. Uh, I'm a little strapped for gold right now, but come back to me in maybe two turns. I could give you a good price for it. Okay. Okay. Um, sounds good to me. So I, I would also accept gold per turn. Uh, how, well, how much? Five? We can do that. Cool. Oh, wait, for how much niter, though, I guess would be clear. Oh, yeah, that, that's 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 the question, isn't it? <laughs> um, how much niter would you like? Six? Get to do an even 20? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, five, five, five a turn sounds good to me. Uh, one second, I, I am proposing the deal. Uh, Eric Vi, uh, never played Civ before. We're at about 100 turns. Uh, how long does this deal game normally go? Uh, yeah, we are... Since we're playing on online mode, everything's going a little bit faster, so we're automatically set to end at 250. I would say if you're, like, the good player cutoff on a standard game is usually winning in under 200 turns. If you can do a sub 200, I think that's usually people think you're pretty good, at least against Deity. I might be wrong on that, but I feel like under 200 is what all the streamers I follow tend to shoot for. This has exquisite mouthfeel. Yes, it does. Dresden Nova's got that exquisite in the mouthfeel. Thank you for the sub, buddy. Um, so if any of us were, like, actually really good, I know everyone likes to say I'm good, but I'm just okay. Oh, we're going to get so many great people this turn. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at our error score shoot up. Bada bing. We were like 190 something before this. Now we got all these great people who want to do stuff. And we're going to let them make some great works of art, make some great works of writing. And because she was so beautiful. What can you do? Two envoys. I'll take those. What are you going to do? Oh, we've got so many admirals that we're not using. Here. These things can improve units. That's the one we're going to improve. We're going to make this... This isn't our frigate. We should make a frigate we own. That will become the best frigate. Free luxury resource. Hey, we don't have whales in our kingdom, I don't think. Yep. Yo, Honey Bazzer. Thank you for the bits. Uh, lots of lots of dancing Estelle. I like it. What do you do? Potion 25%. I mean... Units are basically mine. Where are you from? Zanzibar. Oh, yeah. I'm Zanzibar's, like, only neighbor. We're gonna be buddies forever. Might as well just assume I'm taking this for all time. This song sounds a little crazy. I'm gonna skip it. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I wasn't going for the heating up that. Oh, but I am about to turn over to 15 pop, so you know what? Let's just go ahead and get an extra turn. might need this for pushing the religion later so let's get back to work on it get more builders Start making forests all over the effing place. Faster.
mine next turn. Get rid of these marshes. Marshes give you negative appeal if you're going for a culture victory and you specifically want uh, to get a lot of uh, national parks. You want to get rid of things that lower appeal. Things that lower appeal are rainforest, marshes, mines, I think. Uh, I know industrial zones do. And maybe airports. Uh, but things that boost appeal are forests, mountains, entertainment districts, certain improvements. Okay. Robert the Bruce. Yeah, I want to get a scat first. I can get them immediately. Wow, we've got a lot of envoys this turn. Right. Now muscat's mine. So now I'm going to also levy muscat, which gives me an additional... Uh, hey, Grant, Nick, you enjoying that little tug-of-war you're having with uh, Mohenjo-Daro? Oh, he took it back. I Not much of one. I mean, Grant's just going to, like, whip my ass with it because he keeps generating more and more uh, envoys with, like, next to no issue. It is yeah. my speciality. <laughs> you see, when we put these city-states on here, I knew... And now, send Himiko to Dior. We can start adding. So Nick can continue to feel the envoy squeeze. Because, yeah, my, my game plan is basically going to be making these guys spread themselves so thin that, uh, like, they kind of need support on the things they want to do. We have Preslov's units. We should become friends with Nazca and Brussels and Auckland. Auckland, Auckland, we're getting close to. Also, what's funny is like Nick is going to be focusing on keeping Mohandaro while I am building up everywhere else, <laughs> including Mohandaro. It's like this is this is one of those things where I kind of knew I would be so far ahead on this that it would be really difficult for people to keep up. Not that they can't; they definitely can. I can't just goof and do nothing with it. They will pass me if I do that. Um, but it's just very funny to me. Uh, sure. Relics are nice. Explore some more. Just make sure we see stuff as it's happening. The Envoy Squeeze is a good name for something. I just don't know what. Well, Tuckendorf, guess what? That's going to be the name of the, the video on YouTube now. Congrats. I think I already had it set to be war and peace, but the envoy squeeze might be what it is after all. Later, uh, Sinbad. I don't think I can really use you all that much anymore, other than clearing barb camps, which one just spawned somewhere I saw? Yeah, way over here. Interesting. Split Rock Clan. Did I... They don't go far enough to back Nick, so I can't mess with them like that. I can get an Obuda for 500 gold, which is about a quarter of our economy, but you know what? Whatever. It only takes a turn. We should very soon have two shipyards. Why are you making these walls? I keep feeling like I'm telling you to do something else, but I must keep forgetting to do that. Uh, let's... This is the district I want to make here. What district do you think I should make here, guys? I feel like we're not really behind on anything. I mean, I guess we're losing a bit on science, so we can maybe keep... Although we've already got a science district here, so we don't need to do that. Are these not districts? Maybe this isn't a district. Maybe the... Nope, we got T there, so this will be... Ha this will... This can't be a national... Arc? As we put it. National parks have to be made in a... I think it has to be a vertical diamond. So one, two, one, basically. And I don't think if we want to improve this T or this T, we're not going to be able to do that. And I think I do want all that T. 
You know me, I'm a strong male. I want all that tea. Let's go ahead and build this. That'll work. I think it's silly that they can't be uh, <laughs> horizontal. Or, yeah, horizontal diamonds. We'll have three cores very soon. In fact. Oh, can these guys not core up because they're not from the same... I didn't even think about that. If we didn't rent them from the same place, they probably can't core up. So I need to find the Hong Kong one. Oh no, these are both Hong Kong. Can you just not... Can you not make cores out of levied units? I figured you'd be able to. If not, that's a bummer. Hey, there's some coal. And Samarkand's got its coal, right? Yeah? Alright, so it's already got a mine on that coal. I thought, he said, I thought I remember him saying it had multiple. But maybe it's just got that one? Huh. Anyway. Are we... Okay, we are generating coal already. God, there's so much I have to do every freaking turn. How is this not taking even more time than it already is? Look at that. It's a very good food tile, but oh well. Back inside. We don't really need to worry about them anymore. If you will be so good and generous as to let me free, the dolphin went on. I shall render you such real services in the course of my life that you will never need to repent of your kindness. Has anyone read The Dolphin by Mary Catherine D'Alnoy? Just curious. Korea really likes this. Let's establish an embassy. The more embassies we have in places, the better our... What do you call it? Uh, buh, buh, buh. Diplomatic districts work. How much would you pay me for dies? Nothing. He's not liking us. Do you like niter? There we go. I like that. Whatever makes him like us more. All right. Uh. Woods. We're gonna have so many woods, you guys. It's gonna be ridiculous. This will be the great black forest. Like basically every flatland tile and any hill that we think would be near something that we would turn into a uh what do you call it a national park there will just be trees just forests improve appeal we're going to be building national parks everywhere one work slot open there? I guess so. Let's start filling up the uh, other stuff we get. You explore. How many turns do you have left? 25. It's going to take you 14 to get to Mohandero. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> We're going to get her to Mohandero. She's going to throw her envoys in it. Um... Then we will levy it for free, getting us more envoys. And then Mohandara will hopefully become so within our power that Nick will just give up on it. Which he's allowed to. But if he wants to keep fighting for it, that's also fun. I ain't stopping him. Uh, where did I say I wanted to put this? I wanted to put it here. Put it right there, and we'll make a city there. A very good harbor right here. Uh, and then plenty of good sea resources and a netable range. So that desert can just be a bunch of districts, probably. If Lanny loses, we all win, and I say that as a proud Lanomaniac, says Dresden. Well, Dresden, hopefully history sees it the way you do. Where am I sending you? Oh, you were coming here for these whales. We've already got pearls in one city. Get the one great person that makes your suzerains destroy other people's suzerains? I don't think I knew that was a thing. That sounds great. And like something I would really like.
Oh, hey, we can start getting to work on our uh, other industrial zone plan that we've totally abandoned. Whatever happened to streaming Tales of games? Uh, I beat Vesperia, started Symphonia and uh, Fantasia, but kind of fell off both of them as games I hadn't really played much before. Well, Symphonia I played a bunch, but Symphonia is just kind of old. Lost some of its luster. Oh, I can't build forests on floodplains, so that's not happening there, but okay. And I want to get... We're not going to spend it yet, but because I'm bad at this game, I never know where national parks can go on site, so I'm going to buy a person who will just point them out to me when they're there. Uh, oh shit, I also definitely want to get some lumber mills in all of these for us, so... Don't have enough faith. Never mind. Oops. And we're... Okay, we're gaining 116 faith a turn, so that's that's plenty. I don't have to worry about faith, Jim. Uh, then okay, you guys can... Go ahead and trim that then. Trick with National Parks is making sure only one city owns all the tiles. Yes, that's the other thing that I will frequently mess up and will probably need reminded on uh, is that all the tiles need to be in the same city, which might be making some National Parks currently invisible. Uh, you can also put one there, so go ahead and go. Farm triangle here, maybe. We'll go ahead and get this. Before going right. I need to disconnect. I wanted to build it where? Here. That way we take up a big chunk of the island, and I don't think there's like. You might be able to get a city down here, which I'll just get a third one if that's the case. Actually, no. Hold on. Oh, shoot. I already. I didn't. Never mind. <laughs> Gotta make sure that guy's safe on the off chance. Nick suzerains them, then declares war, then steals my settler. <laughs> but that would be quite the twin, quite the turn for him. Hey, promo. Move faster on hills, I guess. Looks like we're surrounded by more hills than anything else. I can't make a core out of you, because one's a rental and one is mine. By Hippolyta, or Hippolyta, however you say it. Alright. I'm definitely going to have the most land mass. Because I could also, like, if I really wanted to, I could be claiming all this land, too. And honestly, that, there might be an argument for doing that. This mine will always be out of Madrid's hands. Also, damn, I still have so many Spanish named cities that I definitely should have been asking you guys about. Ooh! Ayathaya! What do you do? You've only got six in there, huh? Oh, 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 oh that sounds like something I want. We're going to need to send them a trade route right away. We get one. Okay, here I'll I'll discover the map between Lahore and Ayataya, and that should let me, let me send trade routes to and from them. There are a lot of city states because we had the uh, what do you call it? Barbarian camps mode on. Oh shit! This is the only danger when we start filling our lands with forests. Fire will spread to any adjacent forests. <laughs> Just a heads up, might be a weird forecast coming over Hungary. Uh, a forest fire has started, and we've also recently started spreading forests across our land. So, the city may be on fire for a bit. Well, now Tamar's offering me drinking alone by midnight. For what? Just, to, just for money or what? Please uh, drink she, alone with me at midnight. She wants my horses and some of the oil I salvaged. Please don't give her horses. 
Their fucking Corsairs are shitty and I hate them. So as you can see, we, we can now build a national park here. I don't know if I want to right away. I'm gonna kind of spread out a little bit. I might, this this is a lot of prime, honestly, uh, what do you call it? District area. If we can stretch it, I don't think we've got the tiles for it, but I'd rather have it more like away from stuff. But we do have the woods. We're just gonna keep spreading these woods throughout our, throughout our great niche. Uh, we're gonna have a farm triangle here. I'm gonna start this to try and remember that. Go ahead and buy another farmer. Probably wait for the next era to milk the era score you get from parks. Also true. Great works, more culture. Grant, yes, I needed them. Who? What'd you need? Leor. Oh, yeah, I I just met them. Are, am I already their suzerain? I don't feel like I didn't think I did anything to them. Oh, never mind. No, no, Tamar stole them. I just assume as soon as I lose Sue's Randy over something, it's you. Never mind. This is a false flag. Oh, get up. Someone got rid of Magnus from my capital. That honestly is the least uh, important uh, person for them to get. However, that does tell me that there's a spy in my capital. So really, all that move did for them is betray that they are there. Uh, normally a good thing to do, but right now, probably not their best move. At least not in that city. Would have been way more effective had they done it to Pingala in Big Pex. Hey, I ain't complaining. What's the city looking like on housing and stuff? Oh, it's not it's not good at all. I wanna build. Oh, we already have a granary in here, so I can't do that. Uh how about a Do we have an aqueduct? Tomorrow's getting real desperate. Now she's offering 19 gold per turn and drinking alone by midnight. <laughs> she just wants to be rid of this great work. These floods lowering my appeal here makes this a little bit less than great. But I think if I put a preserve here, I could make all of these tiles flippin' sweet. Probably. But I'm not certain on that, so instead... Extra policy card is always something to invest in. What's that about? Is that the Forbidden City? I don't even know if we'd be able to build that fast enough anywhere. Someone else might be getting that. We definitely are going to need housing here, though, and I think the best way we could do that is maybe... Be an encampment or ca campus. And I think we're kind of falling behind on science. And we have a very good campus location right there. So let's just take it. Uh, but we will grab another builder. see the road from Lahore to Ayatoya. I still don't think we can get them. That's going to be a little annoying, but we'll figure it out. Start Harbor here. 
have we not built two shipyards? That seems crazy to me. Uh, but I don't think we really can anywhere, because we don't have a harbor here. We've already got the harbor here. Sir, hey, sir. I'm streaming. What's up? An artifact was found in the north of the continent. Thank you. That does look neat. Did you print this? No, my oh. friend made that forever ago. Yeah. Gotcha. I was, I was very confused. for your fucking stream. Tyler came in and gave me an artifact. Uh, it's a nice little helix fossil. Now crossing the streams. I didn't need to buy both of those tiles, but whatevs. I'll put a lumber on here so we can put a lumber bolt there later. Oh, that's mine. I need to start marking my units so I know them. Uh, have you played as Eleanor or of France? Uh, her power of loyalty pressure can be crazy. I've never actually gotten into her role. Oh, yeah. Well, but yes, I have seen it. Or, I, or I've, I've played as them, but I've never really gotten that to work super well in my favor. Maybe put a city here, fill out this little gap, get some good resources. I mean, I guess I could stretch this city to there and this city to there. I'm really just missing out on some volcano tiles, but hey, get a national park later. Also, hey, new era. What are we doing? Uh, uh, I'm kind of between these two, because I'm not planning on going to war. I'm not planning on settling more cities off our cap continent anymore, now that we've gotten those two island cities. So I think this is our best route, because we've got trade routes out the ass. down here. We're spreading these forests. Um, I'm going to start trading with Scotland. Actually, I'm going to become allies with Scotland. Money is always good. not going to ally Vietnam because Quinn is planning on attacking them even though he's currently allied with them Quinn doesn't know that he can get a betrayer penalty for attacking a former ally yes oh that'll put him further behind um no she has to deal with me everyone else keeps turning down dark and drinking alone at midnight I won't I've had too many great people to know what to do with them. Uh, 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 nah. Also, hold on. Do we have the faith to purchase? We can't anymore. Shit, I should have done that before it was over. Because now I think I have to hard build fucking... Wait, is it not in this city? Grand Lanta? Was in Great Lanta where I could get archaeologists. Can I buy archaeologists? I can! Ha ha ha! All right. Everything's fine. You are still out, so I can't do anything. What does indoctrination get me? A wild card policy. Oh, very good. That's what, probably what you guys were talking about. Which, hey, let's go to the old government. 
change these policies up a little bit. What do we got here? Oh god, I wish I could see the values of these at a glance. make more spies could do Raj seems good yeah that's kind of what I'm thinking I never know the names of these whistle banking or whistle banking is the only one I really know because it's probably one I use all the time we would need oil for this to be useful TV is finally on the verge of falling, and that might be it for <laughs> the war for me for a while after I take it. And my citizens are not happy with it. Yeah, City Inc. is on the verge of rebellion. Yeah, I, I've, I've changed around a few things to hopefully... Yeah, okay, I, I, I pushed that back way farther now. So it's it's fine now. But I've been taking a hit for a while. did not realize I apparently was planning on putting that there, but hey, whatever. we got a really good jungle tile right now. realize we have a shit ton of jungle that we need to run out of there so we're gonna be oh, 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 oh. when do you get to come back one more turn hell yeah okay game plan. by the way uh quinn uh this thing says that that uh your our relationship is unfriendly but there are no grievances what we're gonna do is we're going to put magnus in here so we get double mine says it's neutral we're gonna chop all these rainforests maybe the game's just uh, keying into your energy fast. that you've been you've been putting off The game knows too much and yet too little, given how it acted when we started. It also may just be uh, basing it on the actual usual algorithm when it's not controlled by a player. the only national forest feature park we have yet. Dang. That's fine. Right. Um, if you don't know about farm triangles, you want to put farms down in a triangle. Hold on, let me... Or why you would want to do that, I guess. Um, is because hey Grant, you coming to coming to see what's going down here? Just you got to... open borders from Georgia? Yeah. All you have to do is ask. I did not oh, well, ask. We, 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 I I asked. She was she was mean mean to me from day one. I mean, I'm paying her twenty gold a turn, I think, for it. But you know. Ah, okay. Yeah, I usually just do mutual open borders or nothing. Yeah, the AI is not a fan of that. They they want to feel like they're getting at least a little something. So you're saying you're funding her war effort? Pro probably, in like a little way. Oh, well, time for World Congress. World Ladies Congress is called the session. We got him. Uh, I feel Thanks like we've seen both Julian. of these before, especially the mercenary companies bit. And welcome AJ Prime. I'm I'm cool with going like uh, production on military types again. 
Ditto. I, I've been liking that. Sure. So that just means we're all voting for production being the currency reduction? Yeah. yeah. That makes sense to me. Uh, any great uh, people people want or do, really don't want? I'd be down for getting more great writers, but I think I'm the only one angling for those. I mean, great merchants is my thing, but no I could. I want that. I could uh, honestly, I could see going for great merchants or great engineers. Okay. I find great merchants. I have a lot of trade routes also, so. I'd oh, be okay. Benefiting from that too. Maybe we push for great merchants then. All right. That, that's that's where I'll vote. Cool. I'll put a I'll put a little weight behind that. Ditto. I'm, put, I'm putting a little weight behind both because may as well use these points. I'm not going for I keep wanting to bring this up whenever I hear this song, but I always forget. I'm not going, always going on. Let's be The piano line in the background of the song is so friggin' good. The... I feel like right now it is a battle for second place, but we'll see. I'm just looking to get comfortable again so I can just mess with people again. Or at all. I never got to do it. Yeah! Just as planned. Hungary has attracted enough tourists to make their culture dominant over mine. You're already generating tourism? Uh, I'm already generating three digits worth of tourism. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm generating a nice amount of tourism. Oh, I get it. All right, let's start building railroads through our turf. God, this song's so good. Diddy Kong Racing, another top tier soundtrack. Seven turn Alhambra. If I have this every time Nick kills the fossil that I would send his way, it would be helping my culture game. Oh, I have such a piece of shit. I'm gonna need Quinn to send me my way. So I can start working on that in earnest. Uh, let's start getting a holy site. We're gonna be surrounding it with woods, so. Put it here. And we'll just literally put woods on like all these tiles. Woods up through here. Woods up through here. Let's start. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Lumber mill. Ooh, actually cotton, maybe? Okay, I want to be able to see all of my routes around these city-states. I'm going to walk away from that war that's going on. Nick's trying to close up his borders, but it doesn't matter anymore now that I've seen my way in. I can always start bombing land with Catholicism. Yeah, but I want it. I want him to lose to Quinn's religion specifically. I mean, I guess I could spread an AI's religion and see if I could just get everyone to lose to an AI that I killed. So I could be like, wow, you guys lost to the guy I killed. Uh, but then so did I, so... But I guess I could defer that by like, yeah, because I wanted him to. <laughs> the real test was to see if you could beat me trying to lose. <laughs> oh, that's right. We still need to get those builders up here. That's something, you know. 
time. Fix that mistake. I could spread Stefan's religion. Oh! Maybe I ask Stefan if he wants the win. And I just start really going ham <laughs> with his religion. And then anytime they kill his apostles, which are my apostles, if I can get this uh, Mont Saint Michel done in eight turns, uh, which theoretically I could maybe get it less. Oh, hold on. That's right. You can probably also be assigned to doing this in Spain's Bane. Somewhere on this big list of my cities. There we go. Uh, Rendaris, I think it does not give you a win if you spread a killed player's religion and have it conquer. I think, I think it actually counts as a loss for everyone if that happens. Sorry, rebuilding my government. By the way, Quinn, if you end up wanting more Niter, I, I have plenty to go around. And, Quinn, if you're looking for coal, I think I now have enough that I'd be willing to bargain. Uh, I will probably send both of you proposals. Actually, let me double check my stockpile. Maybe I'll just talk to Grant. And trade is my whole thing, and all I've had is fucking grumpy people next to me. But I, I thought that was the grumpy. continent of friends, of peace. Between me and Nick, yeah. But not Georgia. Georgia's been an asshole from day one. With Nick, the only problem is me and him have, like, the exact same resources. Stefan, I've sent you a deal. Awesome. I've ended my turn, however, so I'll have to wait till next turn to grab it. You can hit the glowy thing in the bottom corner if someone's still going to start your turn back up. <clears throat> glowy thing in the bottom corner? Uh, what you normally hit for next turn? I had no idea that was a feature. All right, I think next turn is unfortunately going to have to be our last one, so let's let's do it. Just so I can get some food. Gotcha. I love knowing that Quinn and I have had this silent agreement that Nick and probably Stefan, did you actually end up no. taking Tel Aviv? Uh, Tel Aviv's still, still in play right now, but I'm very close to taking it. They, they've... Tamar, Tamar's moved her builders out of the city <laughs> in preparation. Oh, uh, she might have done that because I just kidnapped all of her... I mean, um, appropriated all of her builders that were... In that might be a, be a part of it, too. Very good, great merchant. Thank you, please.
All right, I think I've done everything I'm going to do this turn. All right, while we're waiting for the other guys to finish up, let's go through and look through our empire and just have kind of a quick... Grant, I did just send you the deal for the coal. Okay, I'll check on that and get it. Uh, yeah, but other than that, I think I'm also done. <clears throat> but okay. We can keep building woods and Spaniards lament. Uh maybe get another national park here. We're gonna we're gonna go ham on national parks next game. You are going over here to start putting lumber mills in these, so we just have really good jungle tiles. Maybe get rid of this. I believe I may also be done. Maybe forests Just all through people here. People, I'm moving around real quick. I and honestly then thought I that forest fire was well. going to spread way worse than it did. Um, also, yeah, we've got plenty of coal mines. We need to be using those. We've already got some. I didn't realize we we're going to have a lot of coal. That actually works out in our favor because we can curry that uh, with Quinn if he still needs it when he has oil to trade with us. Which, how far are we from getting coal? Basically, already got the boost for that. Need to build a coal power plant. Can we... And this time when we're done, we all agree to just leave and then maybe keep talking about the game if we want to. Yes. <laughs> I, Don't I, give I, the AI an excuse. Do I'm doing all my breaking down what I need to do next game or next uh, week right now instead of after we end like I did last time. Uh, but okay. Basically, it's going to be Lumber Mill City. Woods everywhere that there isn't already a woods. Improve some of these resources we have that we're not taking advantage of. Um, maybe settle the last couple cities we'll ever need on our coasts. And, like, we're already All right. cruising. Uh, so we aren't hitting next win. turn. We're just ending, right? Yes. I'm not so. hitting next turn. Okay. Then I will save... And quick save just to be safe. And exit the to the main menu. <laughs> well, cool. I'm, I'm not sure this one has like a a super bombastic ending for the YouTube version, but. Not quite. It'll be up to Zito so to find that one. I have, have. <laughs> Sorry, Zito. Goes with a little bit of a fizzle instead of a bang, but that's all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, thank you, everybody, for joining us uh, for <laughs> another session of TFS Civ Wars with, you know, minimal war. Uh, I think, well, tomorrow we're going to be hosting a special session of Ready to Roll for those of you that have missed TFS at the table. Antfish, Quinn, Stefan, Zito, and myself will be playing a game of the RPG that I've been developing over the past couple of years. So definitely tune in over on twitch.tv slash stream four star tomorrow at five o'clock central. And next week, I, th I think uh, I think we're going to be playing around with that there update of Among Us. So we might have to find a different day for Civ. I didn't even think about that. We might have like or a... just skip a week, one or the, one or the other. I didn't even think I about the possibility I... of there being a whole week where I don't get to play this. I wouldn't mind putting on Tuesday, but I know uh, Quinn, and, Quinn and Grant, that's usually your day. Well, if we started at five, I mean that Grant, that'd mean buying in for four hours. But oh I yeah, I don't, I don't there. know if I'd want to jump into a stream immediately after this, but I'm, I'm fine. Whatever we decide to do. Well, none of us are uh, particularly encumbered on Wednesday either, so. That's true. Wednesday, I was thinking about doing uh, Evil Genius 2, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I think, I think there's something, well, we, this should is something we can sort out one later. <laughs> yeah, one way or the other, we will sort this out. But thank you all for joining in, and we will see how the world develops next time on Stream 4 Star versus the world and each other, I guess.
Yes. See ya. All right. We are out of the call. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Jump Skeet, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, check your DMs. I, uh, I have a friendly offer whenever you get the chance. Okay, thank you. I will look into that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Just scroll up here, see if there's anyone I didn't shout out earlier. Tarosan, how are you faring with tourism? How, uh, how many foreign and domestic? Uh, I didn't get a good look at it. I probably should have done that before we closed. Uh, but I know I'm already pretty far ahead, so I don't think I'm too worried. I've already, I've already beaten essentially, uh, Stefan. Like I think when it says that they've got, like, control or whatever, like culture control, I think that just means like there's kind of no way back out from this. Uh, Lanny loses. I don't care uh, who wins or if no one wins. Uh, if necessary, hit the Godzilla button. Okay, so Dresden just wants Lanny to lose. Got it. Well, I'm pretty sure we can see that. Just putting, just putting them there uh, will drive Lanny to attack. He will give you culture or he'll let you spread your religion. I mean, yeah, like I said, I, I could start pushing with Catholicism. I think it would be funnier and more thematic for me and Quinn to team up to take them down. But, uh, but yeah. Yeah, I might, uh, Sir Jumper says I'm like 40% of my way to a culture victory. Honestly, this will sound like a shitty thing. I might kind of try to slow down my culture win because i want to let them do more stuff uh like really if i hadn't already been pumping so much gas that alert seems really loud to me but i also like it it's a sick theme uh thank you zul miyazaki for the sub five months holy cow thank you uh and raging red 2018 we're just about to stop uh that's what's up we just played some multiplayer with team four star and uh they all know they're losing, and it's pretty fun. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for me tonight. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. You've been great. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. It's not a shitty move at all. If anything, it means we can have more fun with you, too. No, I mean, like, shitty in the, I don't want to win too fast, like, kind of sound. Because, uh, like, I, I want to emphasize, I've played... Hold on, let me pull it up. I've played Civ for over a thousand hours. I know that my just game knowledge just from like, even though I'm fully willing to admit that I am not a good active learner, that I don't really actively like practice or try to really think during those times. Usually when I play this game, it is a wind down before bed. So I'm not learning a whole lot. Uh, honestly, shout out to potato McWhiskey. I've been watching his stuff and that's where a lot of my like plan formulating has started to come from. Um, but I don't want to make it sound like I don't think these guys could have won. I definitely walked in with the biggest advantage by far. Uh, and none of them really knowing how my sieve worked also really played into my Teach hand. Teach me about Bazongas! Yo, thank you, Zul Miyazaki, for the 5,000 bits. And I haven't gotten to enjoy your stuff lately, so glad to see, your, uh, see you again, sir. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that, man. Uh, but yeah, uh, but I don't want to make it sound like there was no way they could have won. That from the outset, I was guaranteed to win. Quinn... Honestly, could have played it a little smarter and really been a thorn in my side. Um, and in Quinn's defense, I could have been way more active about being really nice to him to push for an alliance to work against like Nick and Stefan if I wanted. But I kind of just played super neutral and that made him afraid of me, which was probably the right choice uh, for him. Because if I'm not going to be nice to you, that probably means I'm just keeping you alive until I need you to go. Uh... So I should have been more actively nice. That's that that was a bad play on my part, kind of letting him feel so scared. Uh, though I should have made a point about not your city earlier. But hey, we got to we got to take a Petra city with the Aluru. That's pretty sweet. And we had him send it. He, he gave it to us. Uh, we didn't even have to steal it. Like really. Thank you, Alaskan Hero, for the sub. Very much appreciated. Uh, will you guys possibly do a group Stellaris of each with your own empire? Ooh, Stellaris is a lot more, has a way higher learning curve in my opinion. I mean, it's easy for me to say that because it's the game I don't play. Um, but I also don't think Nick or Stefan, one, have it, or two, have any interest in playing it. And after watching Quinn play it, I'm only kind of like half into it. Like, I think our streams are fun, but I still don't think I'll probably be buying Stellaris for myself uh, in the 
at least in the near future. It's got a lot of cool stuff, but boy, is it a lot to take in. Um, but, you know, it's good stuff. Any Anything else uh, before I head off? Because I'm, I'm liking talking to you guys for a little bit, and I have the energy for it, and I feel like we started a little late. So I want to try and give you guys a little bit of... Hey, did you know a new sieve came out today? So I was almost done filling out my Hall of Fame. All I had left was John Curtin from the stream we're doing, but then they added Zhao the Third. So I guess I'm going to have to win a game with him too. Also, I should get back to that John Curtin game. Sorry, I've been neglecting it. Uh, but I think we're pretty close to getting a culture win there, so we could probably boot that one up here in a couple days, maybe tomorrow, depending on how I'm feeling, and uh, possibly get that win. Oh, thank you, Sky Cadet. I, I don't know how smart and handsome I am. And anytime people remind me, I'll be real with you, I think you're lying. But I appreciate it. Good luck, Trivia Loves, on your on your uh, your Zhao game. What headphones are you rocking? Uh, let's see. Pull up. Don't look at that. Let me pull up their exact name because I bought them off Amazon a little bit ago. But hey... Uh, shout outs to all the people trying to unionize working in Amazon. Sounds like really shitty working conditions, and I'm very sorry sorry that they have a uh, capitalist grip on my throat, so I buy things from them from time to time. These were the noise canceling headphones, Bluetooth oh, V5.0 right. uh, wireless. Uh, not seeing like a Sir Rhythm? S Rhythm? NC75 Pro. I purchased these on January 3rd, and they work very nice. Tuckendorf, not gonna lie, I miss you wearing glasses. I've tried to stop wearing glasses on streams as much because I get a lot of glare, uh, so you can't really see Ladies my and eyes. gentlemen. And I feel like that makes me not approachable. Um, also, thank you, Julian, for gifting a sub to Sky Cadet. Uh, Sky Cadet, welcome to the Wug Thugs. And Trivia Loves, thank you for gifting a sub to uh, pur Purple prin Prince Cece, or pur Purple Princess Cece. Your name was split in half, so I so it was tough to read. Because, but but yeah, Tuckendorf, I like how I look with glasses, honestly. I think I like it a little bit better than I do without, but whenever I'm streaming, my glasses have a really bad glare problem, so I feel like my eyes Ladies and gentlemen, just get hidden, and I don't like that. We got them. Tico552, thank you for gifting us up. Boy, all these uh, really generous people and welcome xc pave pave 623 for this up or welcome uh to the wug thugs uh, okay let me see what are your thoughts on pokemon Arce arceus legends games uh the seemingly breath uh, breath of the wild zelda game where you're actually running around with your mons and uh and start with cyndaquil oshawa rally i think it's cool that they're going in a different direction uh, I think that is that is good. I know the footage we saw was super early, but I think it doesn't look good enough. I don't know how to put that. I don't want it to be like a a purely judging it on how it looks thing, but it just does not look. And I and again, I want to emphasize. I know it's we're seeing very early footage, but I feel like even in this situation, you kind of tend to put your best foot forward and like I don't know. It just it does not look great to me and i'm hoping it's more optimized after after the wild area and sword and shield i've started really looking closely at stuff like that and being like if this is how it turns out is that okay am i all right with that and uh if that's gonna be the case i'm gonna say that's a no for me on uh how arceus looks i'll still try it i'll still give it a shot but uh i really really hope its performance gets a little bit better before it comes back or comes out is there a chance for more nuzlocks from ryumpel probably not anytime soon one, I wouldn't want to do one outside of the office, and we're still kind of a little ways away from feeling comfortable going back. Uh, and two, it's still sort of something where at least Karen and I specifically got really burned out on doing them. Uh, and I think there's still kind of a mental block there, at least for me. I don't want to speak for him. Uh, that I still feel just kind of weird about it. And, like, we, we tried to do the Sword and Shield one, and we had, like, more fun and got to do it in a sillier way, which is what we thought would solve our kind of burnout problem but i'm still feeling very anxious about starting another one so i i'm gonna say for now at least if it's gonna be one for team four star involving me not at least for a little bit 
Um, what D and D? What did I miss? Who's hosting? Uh, Nick has been setting up a ready to roll his game that he's been working on the last like year or two, uh, and he wants to kind of angle that into being some of our tabletop stuff that we do. Now that he's got a system that he really likes, uh, it's a more story based game with less dice rolls, which. Everyone in the office who doesn't like D&D that much, people like me and uh, Scott and Kieran, kind of our big complaint is that we really don't like all the dice rolling uh, and like kind of math and numbers rules that you got to keep up with. So he's kind of, you know, trying to make a game that gets away from that. I'm going to make sure I'm not still on a squad stream with the boys. I'm going to keep answering questions because I feel like doing this for at least a little bit. Uh, 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 with this epic Golden Sun music behind me, too. Alright, alright, leave, squad. There we go. Now it won't look like I'm still doing this. Uh, ba -ba 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 Uh, I'm glad you mentioned the mental burnout and the Nuzlocke. My cousin and I adore the TFS Nuzlocke, but wondered why you guys hadn't done another yet. It's definitely a huge context and makes total sense. You guys, Nuzlocke's were the absolute best. Soul, silver, platinum were totally hilarious. Thank you. Yeah, like, I don't... It's weird, because, like, in the moment of doing them, I don't remember really, like, actively not liking it or not having a good time. But kind of ever since we finished, I want to say... Probably the Emerald one. Kind of ever since then, I feel like I've been doing them like a, well, all right, we got to do this because this is what people want. And like, it's not so much that I wasn't having fun, but I feel like I feel like I was doing it out of an obligation and that made it feel like it wasn't important to me. Uh, and so I didn't feel like motivated to really try and therefore like make it better. And so I feel like it's kind of given me a lot of weird internal conflict about it. So it's, it's a touchy subject for me, to be honest. Um, and I'm sorry that there are so many of you out there who love it, because I really wish that I could just do a show that you liked. Uh, but when it gets in your head like that, it's really hard to go in and do that as your day-to-day. -day. Um, and I don't want to speak for Kieran, but I know he kind of felt similarly. And so I, d I didn't want to put words in his mouth, but I know that was definitely something kind of similar for him, too. So so that's why there's been a, you know, a not as much on that front. Uh, thank you, Terra Sam, for the bits. Can I say how much I love watching you and Kieran play fighters? Watching Nava versus Kieran's Ginyu is always such a real treat. Thank you. Uh, I, uh, Kieran and I have both kind of been a little burned out on fighters lately. It just feels like we've been playing it a lot. I think I think it's one of those things where we've just been focusing on it for too much, too long. And so now the familiarity has bred uh, contempt. Uh, but it is still very neat, and I appreciate that you like it. That occurred to me, Grant. Uh, why didn't Chroma, Chroma Kill technically get a Civ win at the end of tfs the table with him become on the path of the world sovereign well because he was just on that path we don't we don't know how that went like chromagill is powerful but he is mortal so i'm gonna happen and stop him yes zero expectations uh you get what you mean uh you need to do games for fun not as a job like that's true but on the other hand it is also my job but my job is done best when it is fun so i so i just try to do that where i can what? He doesn't play. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'll see you. They can't hear you. My microphone is set to only be audible if I'm, like, right on it. I'm trying to be fun with him. You shouldn't. <laughs> I, I've set them up to avoid that as much as possible. <laughs> uh, haha. -ha. What games are you and Karen playing for, uh, or thinking to play for Dinner Time Gaming? There's a couple SNES games I, I, I want in there. Oh, you all heard him just fine. <laughs> Don't tell Tyler that. Uh... Did you, did you end up finishing Bravely Default 2? I totally got what you meant about not wanting to progress until leveling up a new job. Had a good time with it in the end, though. Uh, I do want to go back to it, but I have currently... I don't think I've played it in, like, maybe the last week and a half or two. I'm not very far at all, though. I stopped at, like, the... I'm a, I think I'm about to finish the desert area. A certain guy who was my friend betrayed me, uh, and I think he's the guy who's maybe going to be holding the last asterisk, asterisk I need in the neighborhood. Tyler's voice carries. Oh, no. 
Um, uh, but thank you. Uh, people have been asking about the Nuzlocks and stuff and being uh, understanding. Teach me with about Bazongas! Weird way this job can give you mental blocks. Uh, Tuckendorf, 2000 piss. That reminded me, I adored the Gravity Rush playthrough, or I adore the Gravity Rush playthrough. Uh, anyone who hasn't watched it, go watch it. Yes! Aaron and I are doing dinner time gaming. It's kind of just a little uh, peek inside our psyche. Uh, we we kind of felt like anytime we would do anything on TFS gaming, it would open up a door for a lot of people to be like, where is Lanny? Where is Kaiser? Uh, and like all that kind of stuff. So we started trying to establish dinner time gaming. If you see that, you know it's me and Kieran. Because uh, I feel like that, like, and and I don't, I don't blame people when you see Team Four Star. Your first thought's probably going to be Dragon Ball Z Abridged. And so your probably next thought is going to be the people who did Dragon Ball Z Abridged are doing this gaming. Uh, so I wanted to, like, we both wanted to make sure that there was some sort of, like, easily defined, you know, logic for when it's just us. Uh, to not be like, hey, they're just using that Team Four Star name to, to get this attention. Uh, even though we are Team Four Star and everything. But you you know what I mean. Just... It puts you in a weird headspace when you're performing for people. It sounds like a creepy song. I'm moving forward. Oh, this is a fun song. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyways. I think I'm gonna wind it down here. Uh, also thank you, Kami Free. Whenever you see a TFS video, you hope Grant's there. Thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Would you consider letting a, lack for a better term, TFS B team go with a Nuzlocke? I wouldn't be offended at all if Nick wanted to do a Nuzlocke with, like, him and Scott or something, or, like, Quinn and Zito or somebody. Like, I, I, I love Pokemon. I don't want to pretend I'm the only one in the office who does. I just might like it the most. Uh, for reference on previous streams, your mic used to not let Tyler's voice bleed through. Fair enough. Yeah, I did. I did open it up a little bit more today. Uh, that's true, dear, dear. I do play the most important role in DBZA. I let you know things made sense. All right. I've been spinning my wheels and talking for a little bit. Uh, almost a whole half hour. You've almost gotten... A quarter of an extra stream of me just answering random chat questions. And thank you, Marvel Hero. I'm glad you always look forward to the me and Kieran videos. All right, you guys are great. Thank you very much. I always appreciate you hanging out on streams. Because uh, my imposter syndrome tells me I don't deserve it. But you guys always have nice things to say. That tell me not to listen to it. And that means a lot to me. And I'm really bad at expressing it genuinely and without... A ton of sarcasm. So I'm trying to be nice and say thank you. Thank you. Now go and do something else. I got things to do. Bye! In fact, I hate that I spelled transmission wrong on this and I'm too lazy to fix it. <laughs>